Hi, my name is Pepe Julia Nunjima and I'm in conversation with Storytel. Describe myself in three words. Resilient, kind, trans. What does being trans mean to you? Me being myself, my authentic self, who was assigned a different gender at birth, being female. It's all my scars, you know, the experiences that I've had a person who is Ugandan, who contributes to this economy, who wants to live um, in a country that affirms them. Describe your transition process in a few words. My re realization of myself and where my transition began was when I was uh, under 12. Uh, I knew who I was by six. By nine, I was questioning certain things. Um, by puberty, I was expressing myself um, in ways that affirm me as, uh, as, as, as a male person. And um, it takes courage. It takes a lot of courage to be able to transition. The biggest lesson of your transition, to be patient. I chose to transition in Uganda. I could have gone anywhere in the world, but I chose to be here because I wanted people to move with me because this is my society, so uh, I had to be patient. Transition affects more than just the person transitioning. How has your family and those closest to you transitioned? People have been fantastic. I go to, you know, to our village um, elder meetings. Uh, I'm embraced as the son that I truly am. It's really been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. I don't have to fight my battles. My family does, my friends do. In 2020, people should stop saying we are an abomination, that trans people do not exist. People have to stop telling our stories for us when we can tell our stories by ourselves. People need to stop calling us second-class citizens. That's been Pepe Julia Lunjima in Conversation with Storytel.